All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to StarCraft 2 Desert Strike 1338. Starlock, probably, if you watch this, my friend, take a cup of coffee. <laughs> probably you already know what is about to happen. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, I deserve to present this, okay? I, I, I know. I know I I own you uh revenge. Uh, yeah, this uh the days will come, yes, um but uh now let us uh come to a little bit uh correction of Urhan correcting his mistakes in his last uh, game Terran versus Terran versus Starlock. So right now I have played uh, Warzone, Warzone 2, the Battle Royale, and to be honest, I didn't, I completely didn't enjoy it. It was uh, full of try harder, full of fucking over sweater. I don't know, guys. You know, Warzone as a Battle Royale, as a shooter, it is, it is okay, but when you lose too much, then the frustration is. Uh, like, you know, frustration, enjoying, enjoyment. If you, for example, win a game, then you enjoy more. But if you lose, like you, you lose, this is frustration, you lose, you lose, you lose, you lose. And from a certain point of this, uh, from a certain point of uh, the amount of losing, the frustration is overweighting uh, the enjoyment. And then this fucking game is making my nerves collapsing. I, I I have to go down a little bit because I'm a little aggressive on this fucking game. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's come to to the one versus one between Uran. And Stalak representing the team FMG playing as the Blue Terran versus Wuhan, the Red Terran. Okay, so I don't really remember whether we have pre-picked the races. I believe we have. So my goal was to... Uh, yeah, my goal was like, you know, in my last uh, one versus one versus Stalak, we played... Terran versus Terran, and I also took gas. I also gave him a uh, middle, yeah, because I gave up uh, on the middle. And my goal was to simulate, pro probably I didn't tell this uh, Starlock, but uh, it was for me. It was for me the goal to simulate that even if I lose, even if I lose the push game, so right now, from the beginning, from the beginning, I already gave up the middle. And I believe Stalag should know about... Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure he knows uh, because the races were pre-picked. I wanted to play uh, Terran versus Terran again, where I rush gas, take the late game advantage, the economical late game advantage, and correct my mistake that I did in the game before. The big mistake that I that I did was that uh, the Reapers, I did pedal cruisers, yes, I did tours, I did tanks. The thing is, I did ground two less. And if you do uh, ground two less than the Reapers, sooner or later they will. Uh, ah, here, yeah, I write into the ally. I don't know why. Why there is even an option to write into the ally, although there is no ally. This is the strike, an abandoned mod of StarCraft 2. Yeah, by the way, let me quickly check whether I record. Okay, I record. Yeah, you know, I'm Terran, you can make Reapers. Okay. So, I do Reapers as well. Ah! Yeah, my mother just called me. She probably don't uh, doesn't know what I'm doing here. 
probably I will have to respond. Um, so here I already took the second gas. Stalag still sitting on zero gas. Let me quickly check something. Yeah, he. Uh, So in the last uh, in the last game, he wrote that uh, yeah I upgrade shields and uh, okay yeah maybe I don't know man probably you know it better than me because you are more active in one versus one in the subtract but um, yeah I think he upgrades weapons with the belief that he can destroy with this the cannon let's check. Uh, looks like I am right. But okay. So I just want to underline that um, my goal in this Terran versus Terran was for me, not for you guys, but in the first primary place for me to check whether I am able to, yeah. I'm sorry if this sounds a little bit uh, provocative or, yeah, to check whether I am able to beat a skillful player, skillful and in one versus one active player Oh, somebody got scanned. Uh, yeah, probably he scanned me and see. Oh, this guy is already sitting on two gas. Now you should. Uh, what you should do is uh, respond with uh, first gas. Let me quickly check your money. It is interesting to be honest. Uh, uh, yeah, you you know. Now my question to you to to you, my friend. So you scanned, yeah, you scanned me, and you need to react. You know, you you cannot just scan and see. Oh, he has uh, what nine reapers. This is not enough. The scan is also need to see. Ah. He actually rushing gas. He's preparing. Uh, he's preparing uh, for a economical uh, late game advantage. You have to come with gas as well. This gas, you know, you know, like I never, I, I will never be able to win uh, with two gas. The push game in Reapers versus Reapers. You, yeah, you, you, you definitely you understand this, but I, I do not understand. Maybe you can tell me uh, why you continue, why you do not uh, build a gas here. Like you should have built gas when you have seen, like you know why? Yeah, <laughs> already three gas, my friend. Why, why, why there is no first gas? So this I want uh, to see in. The next uh, games. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe what I can understand. Okay, now the philosophy of uh, Stalag maybe is first destroy the cannon and then take gas. Probably this was his philosophy. So my goal, yeah, he's taking the first gas. So, uh, oh, by the way, guys. So you see this number, this number is not moving. So I am still on the cooldown.
So this is now like uh, three gas versus one gas with middle. So cooldown uh, from okay. Now let's check. Three gas, one hundred forty-five, and one gas, one hundred twenty-seven, my friend. Toyota, feel the difference, or which uh, I don't remember which car uh, that was. Okay, so. So my goal, uh, like I already mentioned, for me, primarily for me, not for you guys, was to see, to check for myself whether I am able to win. Yeah, like giving up, you have seen, I have, uh, we, we, we both uh, knew we are turns, like, uh, you know, yeah, I even write here, you know, I'm turns, so the races were pre-picked and... Uh, he know I am Terran, I know he is Terran. My goal was to, to see for myself whether uh, if I give up the middle uh, right from the beginning of the game and rush gas secured the economical late game advantage and to see whether I am able to win against a skillful, active 1 versus 1 player in a Terran versus Terran. So maybe this game will... Uh, no, I, I think I, I think I cannot say it like this. I was thinking maybe this game will show that uh, rushing gas is maybe more important than securing the middle, but I think you cannot say it like this. So here, I believe I go tier 2. Yep. So the big mistake that I did in the game before was that I didn't do... Um that I didn't do enough ground units. I gave Starlock the chance to kill me with his fucking Reapers. And so that this not happens, my friends, you need ground army. If you don't have a ground army, then these Reapers will just uh, pass by battle cruisers or whatever whatever you have here and then they will just finish the planetary fortress very fast. My friend, I... To be honest, I think about... Uh, to be honest, I think about starting, uh, you know... Starting my Let's Play Gothic Definitive Edition again because you know this will be a single player game that I for sure will enjoy. I will not have this this uh, element of competition with other players, so I do not have to make pressure for myself. I can just dive into a into a story game relax, play it for myself without any competition with other people. I think I think for my healthiness it is much more better than playing Warzone. Because Warzone my friend this is you need ah, it's it's challenging. It's for sure challenging but it's hard, man. It's really, really hard. Sometimes, uh, you know, I think I need to have a little bit limit. I shall not play more than three, four or maximum five games in a row. Because if I play five games in a row, then I will be fucking frustrated, my friends. So, why do I thanks, my friends? I do thanks because... Uh, Tanks are reducing the ground army of Starlock. I believe I started the tanks uh, earlier. Then he, he has three, I have six, okay. So with the tanks you secure, uh, you secure the ground. Like the most uh, dangerous thing that can be for me right now is Reapers. Reapers that can attack the ground. Uh, Starlock decided to do uh, tanks as well, but um, with time I will definitely... I should have more 
Right now I am investing a little bit into the Vikings. Why? Because I was a little bit afraid of uh, battle cruiser danger, like he selling the reapers and then transferring into the into the battle cruiser. But uh, even though if he did this, I think he couldn't afford really much uh, battle cruiser. Maybe we can count. Uh, how much do he do? Does he have eight, eleven, eleven? Yeah, let me quickly take my calculator. 11 uh, multiplied with 1. I already forget how, my, how, my, how much Reaper costs. Okay, 1, 3, 5. Uh, and then you get 70%. Uh, so 0 0.7. And that is 1,039. So this is uh, two battle cruisers. Which is no danger at all. So I believe even if he did this two battle cruisers with some saved money, like let's say four battle cruisers, he he did uh, even four battle cruisers will do nothing against this planetary fortress. I can and I will and I would be able to react and sell my reapers as well and do Vikings. Vikings sooner or later will then stack. And I think this will be a bit more efficient, like me having tanks, Vikings versus tanks, battle cruisers. This, I believe. So, Starlock, my friend, what do you think? What do you think about playing hardcore? Try hard, sweating games like uh, Warzone. L like as a psychologist, you know. Oh, somebody ga uh, going tier three. Uh, that is me. Um, So again, I believe um, that, yeah, uh, so to be honest, the response with the Marines was for me a nice thing, because uh, probably probably he did uh, Marines versus these Vikings, which is not bad, actually, but the thing is, from the point when I will be having siege tank these marines like luckily he didn't continue mass marines but from the point when the siege tanks get siege mode and i believe this is about to happen now yeah then the marines will become a little bit not useful Like you know, I really believe, I really believe I will, uh, I will not continue. Like I need a break. I need a break from this fucking war zone. Um, um, I will start uh, my let's play Gothic Definitive Edition again. To uh, I will dive into the late uh, into the into the story game, into a story game, like uh, relaxing, um, a little bit uh, variation and
So this is the point where Stalak getting troubles. So the question is, what should have Starlock done versus this? This is 8 tanks, 9 tanks. This is not a, a lot of difference. But the thing is, um, she can sell Reapers for example, okay? And do what? Battle cruisers, I think, would be not a good idea, since I already have some Vikings, and um, pretty sure tanks, Vikings is a better, uh, more efficient combination than battle cruiser viking ravens what uh, did, did he just do ravens or what really i i didn't get this My friend, why do you do ravens? I didn't understand this. What conclusion, uh, what motivation did you... You think... Uh, like ravens throw the turret? But what do you think about the tours, my friend? Like, you, you, you check this. 15 versus light. And ravens are light. I think you shouldn't have done the ravens here hmm i know something my friend uh i could tell you what to do here <laughs> or what i would uh, do here in your situation uh but i think uh, you know there is a saying the magician magician is not a magician if he sells out his tricks that's why uh, next game next game maybe we can see something uh, different yeah you need to react something with the reapers maybe I need to think, my friends. Yeah, to be honest, you know, one versus one, this is also a little bit too much com competition for me because uh, everybody wants to improve, to be better and better and better. And from a certain point of the game, then the luck and the race will decide 
whether uh, somebody is winning like w when you have the point that uh, both players are skillful equal then then what what will decide here for me luck and race will decide when both players are uh, skill wise equal and that's why we need to think is it worth to play one versus one like uh, i like to play three versus three because three versus three this uh, has much more variation my friends Like in one versus one, I don't want to say, oh, now I beat Starlock, now I'm better or something like this. I am Stardust. I am made, everybody on this planet is made out of atoms, and atoms is nothing more than Stardust. So... Let me quickly think one thing. So let us uh, imagine Starlock would do what uh, I would do, for example, in his situation, but then I would uh, react with uh, something which is uh, in the first place not bad. So I do this and then Stalak need to do battle cruisers. But then I will react with Vikings. So Vi what is better? Vikings and Taurus? Vikings, Vikings, uh, Taurus tanks, or tanks, battle cruisers. Uh, you cannot do Taurus and uh, uh, battle cruisers together. I mean, it's uh, obviously very nice, but you need to decide whether to do uh tours and vikings i think tours and vikings is a very nice choice in a terran versus terran ah, i need to think for myself my friends i will not waste your time Yeah, I I pretty understand the situation. Like Like what what would you do in the in the uh in the position of Starlock? Like let's let's just click on this uh VBF and see the units. Marines versus tanks, no. Marauders, no. Reapers, Ghosts, Hellions, Medivacs, so... Like, this row goes out. Vikings. Versus what? Versus this one, Battle Cruisers, and versus the stores? No. Also bad choice. Benjis, hmm. Maybe sounds not bad uh, versus the tanks, but the thing is, what about the tours? Tours versus, versus uh, Benjis, also not efficient way. Ravens? Waste of money, I would say. Tanks. Yeah. So definitely he should have sell these Reapers. This, uh, this four Marines. And I think... Uh, So if he did battle cruisers, then I would react with Vikings. And Vikings is a efficient way. Mm. 
maybe some benches and then the benches will force me i mean i would i would do uh, tours either way so maybe uh, he do some benches but then i do some tours so he do what then he do uh, bcs i do vikings uh, you yeah you see my friends like this is a not a skill versus random this is skill versus skill here so um so let me let me quickly uh say one important thing uh, for everybody who is watching my videos uh, the subscribe videos here for me very important that uh, when i win and also when somebody wins me my philosophy is that um, i am not better than my opponent and my opponent is not better than me yeah this is the philosophy one win does not telling you oh now he wins me now he is better or something like this no it's just Every uh, human being is uh, better in something than the other. Okay, my friends so what i would like to know from my friend starlock what do you f so uh, i think i need to to make a survey to um so since uh, since I have uh, yeah I have a little bit like I would say uh, half of my uh, community is uh, Russian speaking sp spoken um, I think about uh, starting the Cossack let's play again and what I think about this on which language I need to start this so generally or in the past I was talking in German because the NPCs in this open world action rpg roleplay game are all german that is why it is for me making more sense to speak german as well but the thing is if i have uh, 50 percent of my community on the russian language then maybe they will be happy to to hear me speaking uh, Russian but I'm not sure um, because then I need to translate oh this NPC now says this then this NPC told me that I have to do this I don't know whether I want you know and so I believe multiplayer games mu sorry no homo not gays games I believe multiplayer games I will uh, still continue to speak in English because we have people from different uh, countries multiplayer yeah different countries international language is english um yeah i believe i will make a little bit break of warzone and yeah go a little bit relax relaxation okay my friends uh gg well played to be honest, I was a little bit happy about uh, this game because um, I was I was thinking ah, it's uh, you, you know I knew exactly which mistake I did in the game before and I wanted to correct it. The big mistake which uh, which I had was that I did two less ground units. If you do two less ground units versus uh yeah in a terran versus terran then you definitely reapers yeah if the 
enemy will continue to do reapers like he did in the game before i believe then from a certain point of the game the reapers will cause huge damage and will be very dangerous for the planetary fortress and like you have seen in the game before they destroyed the planetary fortress and that's it so here i corrected this mistake Trans uh, rush cast uh, secured the economical late game advantage and uh, went into the late game units earlier and yeah the theory that i had in my brain succeeded thanks for gaming thanks for gg well played everyone see you in the next games don't forget to stay healthy curious and motivated see you my friends in the next games thanks for watching goodbye